Williams. Nasty Nate Williams took this fight on pretty short notice. Darius Estelle was supposed to be the original opponent for Don Shane, as however he was forced to withdraw from the bout. And Nasty Nate Williams answered the call. And like I said earlier, Nasty Nate Williams could potentially be a tougher matchup for Don Shanus. He's got more experience. He's yep. coming in to this fight with Much a 12-7 and seven record. Well. Much taller, very better. big Much guy. different reach between the two guys. Uh, I would say that this is a, a very tough fight. Not to say that, it, that the, the original matchup wasn't a tough fight, but Nasty Nate Williams, you know, coming in on short notice is always something different from the, the incumbent fighter and also the person challenging. Uh, yep. A little bit more to lose for, for Don because he has no idea. He didn't have a lot of time to prepare for this guy. A different body type, a different style. You know, you prepare for a whole camp for one particular person in the last couple of days to have it switched up to somebody that's so much taller, so much longer, it indicates that you have to change your game plan for this fighter. So I want to see how Don adapts to this and uh, and, and, and faces this challenge. Because Nasty Nate is a very good opponent, a very, very good tough opponent. And Nasty Nate Williams, a supremely decorated wrestler with a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, as we stated earlier. He's got incredible chokes, incredible front chokes. Uh, if he gets a hold of a single leg, have fun going for that ride because this kid is as legit as they come at 12 and seven, a slew of experience and an extremely tough fight for Don Shane is to take on short notice at this main event juncture. I'm honestly just excited. Don always comes to bring, you know, and he's a short statured guy. It's not like he's not used to fighting guys that are bigger or taller than him. He is very much, very much the case. Even I'm a little bit taller and longer than, than Don, and, and he's very explosive, very strong. A nasty Nate has great striking, very good takedown defense. His record is indica indicative of, of how good he is. He's a very, very tough opponent. Like, and not, not to say that, not to say that I don't know much about him, or that he's tough in the sense that he can take an ass whooping. But that's not really how it works. He's tough in the sense that he is going to challenge Don in and every a way. Ton of talents outside of the cage. A firefighter by day. Spent years in the academy. Got. Uh, a lot of knowledge and what it takes to become a firefighter chatting with this young man last night a former teacher as well an english degree nathan williams is the full package brings decorated. a high fight iq yep. he used to be the rich franklin of the local scene now trying to be the steep a miocha yep. to the local yep. scene and he's got a tough test ahead of him in don shanus who's no stranger here at plymouth memorial hall shameless nation is in attendance here tonight and he needs no introduction from me you guys take it away and decorate this man's career yeah, absolutely. At seven and two, Shameless has de has a very decorated record. You know, he's fought some of the better pros around, and I think he's ready to start taking bigger steps into his pro career. This is definitely a step up in his usual competition. You know, uh, not to say that he doesn't fight tough guys, but this is definitely a test for Don to see where he ranks among featherweights in not just the Northeast, but in the East or the country itself. Don is on a trajectory to the UFC, but the, the, the higher he gets and the more popular he gets, he sells tickets, obviously. That is, that is without fail, he sells tickets. But how does he do against people that challenge him? How will he adapt in those big fight situations? This is exactly that type of situation for Don to thrive in. If he can come in here and face such a quality opponent, and he'll he, his ticket to the UFC is almost assured at this point. He's in the prime of his life, prime of his career. He doesn't seem like he's slowing down. Very explosive, knockout power in both hands. Very technical as a grappler. I'm very, very excited to see what he's uh, been doing over the last year and a half. Shameless Don Shane has just entered the cage. We're ready for fireworks, baby. The main event is now. Ladies and gentlemen, 12 fights down, one to go. Ladies and gentlemen of Plymouth Memorial Hall, this is your main event of the evening. If you are ready for these two warriors to go to war for your entertainment tonight in this main event, let them hear you! Let's go! Five rounds for the featherweight professional cage titans title. Introducing to you first in the red corner with the professional record of 12 victories and seven defeats. 
He stands five feet 11 inches tall, and he weighed in at 145 pounds. From Stone Mountain, Georgia, he's representing X3 Sports. Let's hear it for Nasty Nate Williams. And now introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, holding a professional record of seven victories and two defeats. He stands five feet, six inches tall, and he weighed in at 145 pounds. From Eastern Massachusetts, he's representing Citadel. Let's hear it for Shameless Don Shana! Always a main event. Matchup is Steve Rita. Don is one of the master marketers of this region of scene. Honestly, I've never seen somebody sell tickets at a local market. So like like uh, Don Shane, this guy's a guy knows what he's doing as far as getting asses and seats. He knows what he's doing as far as fighting. He's gonna do a great job here. What I love about Don is just his pressure. He comes out. Oh, here we go. Don Shane is nasty Nate. They're already on, they're already firing away. Gold is on the line. Five rounds, five rounds. We'll see if it makes it five rounds with how these oh, guys man. are already coming out. And Nasty Nate said in the press conference, he's got nothing to lose here. Nope. Came in short notice. Nothing to lose at all. Big takedown. Yep, Don, good pressure here. Don being careful here in the full guard of Whit Nate Williams. Nate's already got a good seems to be a good guy. Nice mission control, holding the posture now. Holding his shin right there to keep Don from posturing up and landing powerful shots. Don doing a good job keeping his head against the cage so that he can't wall walk, so stacking his head up. So as long as his hips are against the, are off the ground, pardon me, uh, uh, Nate is gonna have a hard time getting his, his hips to the wall. Great job from Don, good pressure. And his top pressure is good. I've been under Don before. You know, we've rolled, we've grappled, we've sparred before. He is a strong, compact guy, especially for, you know, it's almost surprising how strong he is to be completely honest with you. He can pick you up and throw you and flip you around if he wanted to, so. Yeah, and that's been his game for a long time. Don has always been known as a guy who would rush in for takedowns and really grind you out, but yep. over his past few fights, he's really developed his striking. Yep, yep, yep. He's, that's, that's the thing about Don that I respect a lot, is that he, uh, he uses his strengths to work on his weaknesses. Oh, looking for the back. Good job from Nate getting the underhook. Good job from getting the position. Good job from Don there. Nice butterfly hook. Nate doing the right things here. He's not taking damn too much damage. Gave his back momentarily, but definitely not the body triangle. The body triangle is not where you want to go here. It keeps your opponent in place, especially if they want to ground and pound. Oh. Don is perfectly okay just sitting here uh, and getting the ground and pound in here, you know, so it's keeping him in place here. Yeah. It doesn't. Instead of the body triangle, I'd rather see him try and maybe put his feet in his hips or even, you know, use your butterfly guard as a way to make space, maybe wall walk to get up. A little bit of stalled action here. Again, feet in the hips from Nate. Very good job to try and push Shanus away if he ever gives the pressure. He's just waiting for that pressure to let up so that he can push him away and try and make oh. space. Williams looking for the butterflies now. Remember, black belt in jiu-jitsu. Yep, very, very slick off his back. Very active. Oh, guard. Don is passing. He's, he's got the back. back. Oh, nice back take. Doesn't have the right hook. Oh, yeah, oh, he's have got the him right in a hook. twister. Oh, but oh, look at that. Nate oh, good Nate Williams switches him. Great job. Excellent job. Top. Beautiful. Nate. He's going to try and figure it out. Let's see how Don does off of his back here. That was a great transition. I'm not really even sure what happened there. If I'm totally honest with you, he just kind of turned around as fast oh. as he could. But now we've switched positions. Nice elbow down the Don's middle there. Don's super active off yeah, his back here. Yeah, much more oh, active on top. Oh, back. but he gave up his back. This isn't good. One hook in, oh, two hooks in. Two hooks in. He's oh, got and no. now he's going he's back to the, the body triangle. triangle. Nate Williams looking to play long. spoiler here. We've got a long round. Oh, oh and it's under the neck. He's looking yeah, for this rear naked. This is tight. This is tight. He's got, the, he's got it locked up here. Don doing a great Don doing a great oh, job. Don turning. defends it. Don oh, defends it. switch sides. Great job. Nate is on him like white rice. Don's got to work here to get out of this. Great body triangle from Nate Williams here, doing a great job. He's sucking the air out of Don as he's doing this incredibly difficult. Don's doing the right thing, getting the hinge down to the ground so that he's not, he can turn in. Nate can easily turn in a mount at any point at this point. 
if Don can just explosively turn in, he might be able to regain top position in guard. Nate let go oh, oh, oh. There it is. And there oh, it is. Oh, right but up, not quite. Right up, oh, okay, and he's got him flat. Full back out. mount. Full back mount. He might be going for the chin here. And instead of going for the chin, I think he's better off trying to soften him up. Oh, oh maybe I'm wrong. That show. looks under the... Don is in all that sorts of trouble. Don. Don's doing a great job. Oh, oh that's he's a got great grip switch going to the hand. That might be it right here. This could be tight. He's got under the cheek and breaks. Oh, he's on the chin, though. He's got to worry about it. He's going to... Yeah, he looks like he's ready. It'd be good for Nathan to start driving his elbow into his back and bridge. Excellent job from Don keeping the heart there. Wow, Don fought off two rear nakeds from a black Real belt. Real good ones. Real good ones. Nate Williams trying to close the show. That that bo that body triangle has got to be something to deal with because any anybody else would have. Oh, he's oh, he's got it. Has he got it? Oh, he's looking oh, to get it. Oh, Nate's he almost doing got a out. Great he job does such a great job. Too. Yeah, hundred percent riding his hips every single time he turns. He just keeps following him. It's not even like Don's doing the wrong things. He's doing everything right. Nate is just countering so well. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. And these body triangles are so hard to get out of. And it's, and it's sucking the air out of him. It's very draining to sit there for that many minutes and not only try to avoid a, a, a submission, but get out of the position that he's in. It's, he, he's doing a lot of things right now. That was a great round for both fighters. Uh, very close round. I'm going to give it to Nate in the end there uh, just because of the control towards the end. Very good exchanges. Super interesting round. Both guys had a chance to be on top of their opponents. Don Shanus did a good job. However, Nate Williams taking the back, using that body triangle. You know, I think though that Don's got to feel confident sitting on the stool right now, though, that he was able to get out of all of those submission attempts. Yep. Well, here's the thing: we see Don dominate so much. It's very rare that we see. Dom go into a second round at all, but if we do, it's very rare that we see him going into a second round that he might not be behind on. Do you know what I mean? So that adversity is something he's going to have to figure it out. Uh, so 10 seconds left coming in. We'll see how Dawn adapts. He seems to be very fresh, doesn't seem to be very, uh, very gassed or anything like that. Fresh on his feet. Nate looks fine as well. Two well-conditioned athletes here. Very hard to score. Great, great fight so far. Oh, oh, big Superman punch, and it landed! Clean, clean, And Don comes oh, out right down. Oh, uh, you got to be careful coming out God, hard like Superman that. Bar. You put yourself oh. in jeopardy of a takedown. It was a clean Superman punch. Yeah, so I landed. Off of that, one. that was a good one. Nate has great top control. Much better top control than, than anticipated. Oh, scrambles. taking his back. Oh, he's Don's got to be more. careful about leaving his arm hanging like that. Don't get too high from Nate. Don's got to be careful. Oh, right back he's to his back. He's being reckless on the ground right now just to try and get up. That's there's the that body, body triangle. triangle. And Nate Williams again right on the back. Remember, we got five rounds here, guys. Oh, he's looking for the choke again. Let's see if Don can fight That's it off. A good job much longer time on the, on the clock this time than, pardon me, the, the much, right. much longer time on the clock this time to deal with that body triangle. We're talking about almost five minutes. Oh, oh this is tight. That looks oh, tight. he's stretching him out. Don is as, as tough as they come. He'd rather go Don out Don will tap. not tap. He's done a great job two that. on one here. Even, even, he's even broken up a palm to palm here. Yeah, he's. Uh, you no, know, that's that's very difficult to do, especially when they're clasped like that. He's keeping him at bay with uh, with these chokes. Nate doing a great job switching that body oh, man. triangle. Those body triangles are brutal. And he can switch. Oh, crazy. there's the switch. Great job, by Tom. Great job. See how much energy Nate expended. Don doing a good job pinning his head up against the wall, making it really difficult for Williams to make any adjustments here. Nate comfortable off his back. Going to Nate, rubber guard. Nate really showing that that black bar, uh, black bar, that black belt credential. 
Uh, he's oh, doing a great working job. The rubber guard. Rubber guards there. He's even the mission control at the like I said, he might not be moving a sweep or anything like that, but he is preventing Dawn from being able to posture up and bomb down. Yeah. Well, when you're up against a fence like that and you have rubber guard, I mean, it's it's difficult to create any offense. You know, if anything, it's yep. great for a stand up. Just if you want to get a stand it up, oh, stand it up, stood up. Wow. Oh, I am apparently illiterate today. Oh, he's but, trying to put it over though. You know, he's trying to. Oh, he uh, lost it. Dawn did a good job posturing up there. Dunn needs a posture up, start bombing down. That locks. He is head against the cage. for Nate is not. Oh, oh big, slam. big slam. And big strike. He's raining down the punches. But Nate doing the right things here. Dawn's got to be careful not to blow his load, trying to do these big explosive things for no reason. This is a black belt. He needs to be careful. He has been swept and taken down twice. Dawn in here in half guard here. Nate doing the right thing. Good wrist control here. Dawn doing good on top. Nice sweep. Sitting back on his heels, good idea, not not keeping his uh, head too far forward. Nice cut pass, got to be careful, very nice be careful cut. not to get his... Uh, there it is. Nice, good, right in the right in his high control, he can start going. Nate needs to not to let go of that right hand over the top to go for the... Uh, he's going to go for mount here. Oh, oh he gave up his back for up a second. Back That's okay, as long as he doesn't have the hook. If Don can get his foot uh, on yeah, step away and get that hook nearest the cage, then Nate's in trouble. But if Nate can keep his hips against there on wall walk, He's not in as bad a position as we think that he is. Nice knee. I'd like to see him continue throwing those knees. Yep. Being so stubby, it's hard to, <laughs> to get the leverage to get yeah. those knees back. Yeah. Getting those knees in, I mean, that's how you open up the hooks. Big shots. Exactly. And Nate doing the right thing here. He's waiting for Don to get up or to start striking because if you're striking, you can't hold the position. You can't do both at the same time. So Nate making a, a veteran decision there. Trying like, to go for the leg there. I like how Don's just kind of weighing on him. I mean, that's exhausting to have someone's weight on you as you're trying to stand up or even turn. Exactly. But at the same time, he's, he's being smart. He's not trying yeah. to, if he do, if he puts his leg, like, Nate has looked for submissions everywhere that this has been. So I, I really think that Don is taking his time. He's got five rounds. He's got three more right. rounds after this fight. It's not like the next round is the next round. He's going to have to be a little bit smarter about his position. There we go. Oh, there's the stand up. There it is. See, you can't strike and maintain the position at the same time. Nate doing a great job. He can not take him down from here, though. Oh, nice little like elbow. Just there. Oh, oh. oh go knee bar. He's got to be careful. He's going to go up. He's going to look for a knee bar here. Uh oh. oh this could be brutal. Oh, God, I can't look. Oh, oh. No, but no, no, slipping his leg out, though. His, his knee's out. He's fine. His oh, knees out, wow. he's okay. His knees that out, he's could okay. have been bad. Wow, I had to look away for a second there. And now Don working back on top as oh, Nate under? Williams looking for oh, a guillotine. No, oh, he slips his head out. out. Wow. Very and interesting fight in two very, rounds. Very, very interesting. One, one to one going into the third here. Yeah, you know, when, when Don reversed and was able to get on top, he landed some big shots. Yeah, and... um. Nate Williams, you know, when he was kind of in that turtle position, he was smart to kind of wait his time and kind of wait for the perfect moment to explode up. He knows he's got five rounds. He knows he took this fight on short notice, so he's got to he's gotta go when it counts. Don Shanis, on the other hand, did a great job of getting out of terrible positions, ended the round on top. Great fight so far, back and great, forth action. Great fight. Nate did a great job in the beginning. Um, like I said, Don came out so winging. and great adjustment from Nate to get him to the ground and control him. Awesome job to explode and keep, to not only get control, but keep control from Don. Don, bold fighters seem very, very conditioned. Like I said, they're going into the third round. It doesn't seem like conditioning is going to be a oh, problem. Yeah. And we know Don is a cardio machine. He Guy will not stop. stop. Exactly. Oh, look at this. This round, Nate Oh, opened. nice inside leg kick. Nate zone. looking for big strikes oh, here. Nice jabs coming in. Ooh, that one might have rocked him a little bit. Those oh, oh, big, big shot. one. Those long strikes are really hurting him. Don's got to move. He's lunging in. He's got to be got, careful. Don's got to be careful. Oh, nice, in like job. That. nice job. I just got hit with sweat. Me too, a little bit. Those nice one inside leg kick. I love that oh, inside leg kick. Oh, that left hook hurt right him. Up, right up. Oh. Nice oh. wizard. Hey, good job. Great job by Excellent Don. Excellent exchange from both men. Both guys landed there in the striking exchanges. <laughs> Middle of the cage here, which is... Ooh. Uh, trying oh, to attempt, scramble, but scramble. Don got out of it. 
Oh, and this is the same position we saw them in last time. But now we're in the middle of the cage. That makes it very We got a lot more time. Oh, Don looking for hooks now. And Don being smart here. He's doing a good job trying to get his, his arm in between him and, uh, him and Don here. Don doing a good job switching sides on the hips. There it is. Good job standing up there. He's got to push the hips away and, and uh, push the hands away to break the grip. Great job, Nate, getting to the cage there. Ooh, that was good. That was a good, that was a good stand up there. He's got uh, Nate Ooh, going into these in type the mouth. things. In the mouth for, for uh, Don Shane. Is, he gets back and Don's gets in the back, back now. Ooh. I think Nate is comfortable. Ooh, Nate's out. And he's on top. Nate's on top. What a sweep. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That was crazy. He was just waiting for that one. Wow. Got the underhook. Ends up on top. That's black belt level stuff right there. And he's got his head right Don on the cage. Don had a great Whoa! Nice sweep great, Don. great, great butterfly sweep. What a sweep. Wow. What and, a great grappling And to do it to a guy like guys. Nate Williams. And I think that's something that, that we've been nuts. preaching all night. You know, guys who are on their backs and they're in full guard, it's really hard to reverse someone or get up if you have your butterfly hooks it's a lot easier to elevate somebody great main event it's definitely owned uh, lived up to its name here even on short notice what a great event great grappling I can appreciate this you know fans that are really oh. involved with the sport should really appreciate the the skill level that's going on in the Don looking here, for the especially. back here. Oh, now Don has his head back it's crazy oh, landing big, strikes, big shots big strikes. he's got to stretch him out but Don cannot strike and, and secure the position at the same time. He's learning that. So Don's a little fix. high. He's, he's got to go picture. back on his, work his way back down on his hips. Nate doing a good job of trying to get that hook out. If he can just bump him off, like you said, Shane, he's much too high. Don's got to get his hips back. He's trying to flatten him out. If Nate can get his good posture. Oh, he's flattening him out. out. Flattening him out. out. Now this he's got to get his hand free. His hand's stuck under, underneath him. Oh, Looking for the choke now. Oh. Okay, good. Nate doing a good job defending for the choke first, which is a great idea. Oh, he might turn in here. Oh, he could turn he into an arm in triangle. Here. He's he got to be careful. He could from guard. Oh, oh but he doesn't have the arms back. Yeah, we're good. Nate, Nate. I mean, he's if still in position to take them out. I'd like to see him roll. Hey! Oh, right That's back okay. into the mount. Oh, and good he's job. back good on job. the back. That's okay. It's better than the position that he was in here. Flattened out is not where you want to be. Don Shane is doing a good job riding those hips. Nice hammer fist there. And Don just making Nate carry his weight here. Yep. Great job. Man, Nate is a Don big 45er. He's Very huge. Big. Huh? He is huge. Big old 45 It's kind of crazy you know? to think that him and I fight in the same weight class. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's how he makes the weight. I'm not really sure. But he made it. You know, he got yeah. here. Title fight and all. He got to championship level weight here. Oh, big Don shots. Big shots Don here. On him and away. Watch it. Going for the neck here. Going for the neck on those strikes. Uh. Oh, nice mount. elbow. Elbow. Back of the head, uh, he's got to watch out. I think Nate's getting tired The here. ref's starting to look real closely. These shots are adding up. He has to move. The ref looks like he's going to step in. And Don is just going to unload here. Don's got to be careful, though. He's not in a position where he's really doing any damage to Nate, but he's, he is certainly hitting quite a few strikes. Uh, Wow. And he, and he can't blow his arms out here because he has still done a lot of work here to stay yep. and maintain on top. Ten seconds here on the ref. On the bell. Oh, I think that was a crowd. Long five minutes here. Ten seconds Ten here. Ten seconds there it was. Yeah, it was too far off there. Nice little stall position. Both men kind of resting to the end of the round. Wow. And we enter championship rounds. Fourth round coming up. Don Chanis has always cardio, never a problem. However, Nate, Nate Williams starting to show a little fatigue in that last round. Yep. Towards the end there, Don Shane is uh, letting them wet up under the uh, let up under the pressure here. I want to see how they come out. Championship rounds coming up here. We'll see how each athlete is conditioned. Uh, I don't think uh, Don's going to slow down at all. If anything, I think he's going to speed it up a little bit here. So we'll see how. It, uh, Nate reacts. He cannot go for those trips anymore. Don is seeing them. He knows that they're coming, and he's all oh, he's countering very, very well. Don did a great job in that round, this just holding him. Crazy. So many momentum shifts. Both of these guys showing their grappling yep. acumen. Yep. I mean, 
How tough is Don Shane is getting out of those rear naked yep. choke yep. attempts early? Yep. And then how yep. tough is Nate Williams finding a way yep. to reverse position anytime he's putting the back squat? And they, squat. And they came out. Blood for these yep. guys through three. They, they came out uh, swinging and landed in, the, in that last round. Let's see if he can keep it, keep it going with the striking and not get taken down because that range is going to be something for him. Oh, see, oh. Look, just like that, right off the bat. Oh, Don, Don going right for it. Ooh, Don wants to take there. this to the ground. They great both shot. want to take it to the ground. Great they both shot. had great, great success against each other on the ground here. It's not like it's a lopsided in any regard. It's very even on the ground. Don got a really good sweep. I don't think Nate was expecting. I think that Nate in this round is going to be a little bit more wary of the butterfly sweeps of, uh, of Don Shanus here and the strength, the overall power of Don Shanus. He's been very, very strong, as we've said before. Nate Williams working here. Oh, Don looking elevate. for that uh, butterfly pass He's again. He's too flat on his back for him to be able to elevate those legs. There it is. Gets on a hip. That's there a little bit go. easier. King steps over. Good job. Oh, nice whoa. knee to the nice stomach there. That was I love chest. those. That was They're like little Very knee nice. jabs. You know, oh, big shots here. Oh, he's oh, got his back. Got him that, knee that, 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 that knee might have hurt him. It could have. Oh, this is bad. Oh, then big ah, shots here. Good. Bad spot for Don. He's got to move here. That was right in the solar plex. I think that knee really did more than we think that it did. Yeah. It's a terrible spot to get hit. This is going to be oh, real. Oh, he's got the arm under. triangle. And he's got the full back mount. Oh, man. Yeah, he could go turns. arm bar here, too. Ah, Nate yep, would be silly to, to, to give oh, up this position. Oh, he's trying to turn him over. He's got the hand Look at lock. this. He's going to start laying down punches. He's got if that he can get, power yeah, half. He's try, yeah, he's trying to get that hand out. He's got it stuck in the armpit. Nate's a little high. Oh, he oh, can go body triangle. Body high. triangle. Ah, he's too oh, high still, though. He's still Don's high. Ah, working there it out. Is. Don's working out. Oh, when you, not when quite. you're high, sometimes he's... you can switch to the body triangle as a way to kind of turn. Yep, yep, yep. Excellent. Excellent job. Oh, from look Nate. at that. Blocking just... the nose pads. It's kind of a dirty school. way to fight, but Old definitely. What do they call it? I it's a fist fight, yo. Yep, yep. absolutely. This is a quite in a championship event. Both fighters are doing everything they can to win here. And again, Nate gets him back into this back mount with the body triangle. He's trying, he's going for the choke with a one-handed here. Don being very cautious, doing, doing the right things. Taking his time. Explosive movements while locked into a, tie, a body triangle are only going to waste your energy. Oh, more. that, now we're, we're oh, getting we closer. Might, we're getting there. Again, this body triangle just Might grueling. Back here. So exhausting. You're trying to fight off so many things at once. Oh, and the choke. You're trying not to get choked. You're also trying not to get your uh -oh. air sucked out of this you. This could be tight. This could be tight. Even if it just locks around the jaw. It's oh, still, and he gets out again. He's, he's doing, doing a good job side. switching side yeah. to side. Absolutely. Though. True black belt fashion. He for one submission right to the next. Oh, I love the little push of the head to try and sink it in. Yeah. Oh, oh, this could be tight. This could be tight. Don's done a great job all Don with fighting that the hands, fighting the hands. I don't think he's got it locked, but this is definitely very a very nice. tiring position for our, for uh, for Don, Don Shane is here. And all these uh, choke attempts could definitely wear on Nate's arms for sure. Absolutely, for sure. If he's squeezing every time. I'm not sure if he is. If he's just trying to get the position to, to get there. If he's squeezing every time, you're absolutely correct. Don's doing a great job getting to that hinge side. The thing about the body triangle is you're supposed to go towards the side where the legs are connected in order to be able to turn in. Nate yeah. doing a great job turning him away from that, so it's much harder for Don to not only defend the choke, but he's stuck in that body triangle until he can get to that side, just like he is right now. But Nate doing a great job hooking that leg on the inside of that knee to make sure that that's nice and stretched out so he can't plant that foot. Good job from Don. Yeah, I was Ooh. just going to say, I'd like to see him switch yep. the side of the triangle. Now yep. it's going to make it much harder for him to turn yep. in. Yep. Yep. He's got the angle on it, too, which makes it a little bit more versatile. He can move his hips a little bit better. Do it, like you said, Shane, great job switching sides. Yeah, I think this. that's huge. You know, when someone's chain, like someone's switching sides, you have to be able to change that triangle in transition yep. Yep. because you really don't want to get stuck with that knot on the side that of the is, mat. That is high-level awareness on the mat. That is very high level. I know what I do. Ooh, nice kick was, to the I sternum there. I love that. Oh, Ooh, I haven't seen nice. those since BJ Penn. I was going to say, thing, where's you know? uh, Hoist Gracie? <laughs> you know, something like that. That was crazy. Fourth round championship action here. 
Nate Williams it's not a very able to close, close the deal. Gentlemen. I'm really unsure about where this oh, is. Oh, those shots definitely didn't feel awesome. Oh, the reverse guillotine. Oh. That would be something to behold, wouldn't it? That would be on the ESPN. That would be the first thing I've ever seen. I've ever seen that ever actually accomplished. That's a black belt right there. Don surviving here. He's doing enough, but again, in the fourth round of a championship fight, you're getting, left. you're getting your your air sucked out oh. of you here. Oh, that's that's tough. I, I, oh, there's the turn. Unbelievable. Too, late. too little, too late. Two, too two too boys. Late. Two, two. Wow. Yeah, going into the what fifth. It's anybody's fight, fight here. Fight. Anybody's fight going into the fifth round here. This is anybody's fight for sure. This could very, very easily be two and two. Last round going into it. Nate Williams again showing his black wow. belt skills on the back. Just great awareness the triangle. Of the, but also fantastic defense from Don. Any other lesser person would have given up from there and given up on a lot of those chokes and not gone for the two on one or panicked when he was when he had a, an arm under the chin. Don stayed calm, stayed, thought about each position that he was in, went for the two on one, broke the palm to palm, and then he worked from there for his defense. He was working that entire time to not get finished, and that might not seem like a lot, but he worked a lot there. He did a lot of things right in order not to get finished to that in that last round. He's got one more round to work. I'd say 2-2 two, two going into the fifth. Somebody's gonna have to, to make it definitive here. Who wants it more yeah, comes down to this. And you know what, when it comes to a shiny belt, that's all that there is, is who wants it more. Five minutes to decide who is the Cage Titans featherweight champ. And honestly, it could be anybody Oh, right. Don in Don on the takedown right, right away. The takedown. Very far the out, time. very telegraphed. Oh, and he's got a he he's a work in the darts. He might have the darts. And he's here. got such long arms. It's oh, perfect he's got for the a dart. He's got oh, the sideways man. angle on it. Oh, oh switching. Oh, man. Oh, man. And Don, Don working doing his a way great out. job. Grabbing the head. Stand up. Nah, and oh, he's going and now he's got, got his it. back. Great scramble. Oh, what a scramble. Nice oh, scramble for Nate, now he's on top. Nate That's the tough the thing there. about going for those oh. judo flips is you always expose your back if you don't well, uh, Nate might have mount here, kind of now a quarter Nate. mount. It's half guard, half guard? Well, Don's ha half Don guard. has one, got one hook butterfly, in. Yeah. yeah. One hook, he that's a weird position to be in. I would say qu a quarter mount here. Yep. Now he's in uh, half mount, uh, half Half guard. guard, we got half guard here. What an exchange of grappling between Oof. these two men. Honestly. Yo, and, and Don should be really proud of his grappling. I mean, he's going up against a really high-caliber black belt, and he is taking his back. He's doing great. He's doing great. He's just scrambling out of positions, submissions, defending everything. Like, there is not one part of this that neither of these men should be not impressed with. They did. There, there is a lot of mixed martial arts going on in this fight right now. Very high-level stuff going. Either of these men could walk away with a belt, and they would be deserving, especially after this performance. Good job getting his hooks in. We've already seen him do a butterfly sleep once. Absolutely. And, and he does it again! He it again. Gets a second Whoa. One. It's like he heard you. They always <laughs> hear us. They always hear us. Sweet by Don Janus. Nate doing a good job making separation there. Don can Don hold out. him down? He can. And he, he switches the position. Switches the black belt goes right back down to his waters. Going right back to work. The shark's not going to leave the water if he doesn't need to. This is anybody's fight right now. Don gives up his back. Oh, no. What a grappling exchange. Oh, know. he's got the back oh, now. Back you to know the what Nate's going to do. He's got the body triangle already. Gets the second hook. Nate definitely wants to flatten him out here. And here we are again. This is it. Don needs to make oh. something happen. The rest of this round cannot look like this. Don's doing a good job, though, getting to the outside of that triangle body lock. Oh, now he's on the far side. Nate stands super tight to him the whole time. Oh, Absolute this is as madness. close as it's ever been. Absolutely. Again, Don just fighting these chokes off. If this goes to decision, <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'm going to give a three to two right now. Don needs to make something happen. I, I think it's two two right now, and, and Williams has had most control of this round. I think uh, Don definitely needs to get on top. Could be looking at another split decision. Those are always tough. Those are always tough when it comes to belts. Belts and, and championships, you never want to split. 
It's, this is a very hard, tough, a tough fight to call, to be honest with you. Don needs to make something happen here, though, if he's going to Yeah, Don definitely needs a else. sense of urgency here. He's going to the wrong side. I get fatigue is setting in, but this is what you've been preparing for. If you know what I mean? This is everything you've been waiting for. You've got to get oh, that hips to the left side. He's, he's, if he's going to turn, he's got to go now. He's not on the right side. Nate's going to be able to follow his hips up and just flatten him out the way that he's going to that side. See how he's not towards the hinge there. Now, if you were to do that, that turn in would be much more effective. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. There oh, 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 oh. He's doing a great job trying there to take his back. Don's on oh, top. Sean's on top. Don's Don's he's got to let him ring. He's got to let him fly. Don's got to go to work. Oh, nice uppercut. Nice sprawl. Oh, right, right back no, Nate right Williams. Down. He's trying to butterfly it over. Uh, oh, he's got to be careful Flew. not to get Von Flew. Oh, oh, there's the reversal. Right up. Right up. What Don's a gotta scramble. Go to work. Oh, oh, my goodness. Don's got to go to work here. He's got to steal this nice round. Nice hand from Nate. Oh. Yeah, Don is behind here. He's got to make something happen here. I think he's gassed. His arms look heavy. So much heart from this so young man. So much grappling. All that grappling nice. to make those arms heavy. He's throwing a lot Williams. of wild overhands right now. Williams has to just throw he's, straight punches right he's now. He's still landing. He's getting that lower, that level change. If Don can get the takedown, he might be able to get this in his favor here. Looking for this takedown. He might be able, he's gotten this one all and, day. Oh, and oh, Nate oh, just oh, wise to it. Sir. Nate just wise to it the whole time. Beautiful wizard by Williams. Nice elbow nice on elbow. the top there. Great job. Honestly, everything that Don has come with high level stuff, and Nate has just had an answer for there everything. There it is. Third again. Butterfly. 10, 10 seconds, seconds here. 10 seconds in the round. Might be 10 seconds, seconds left. Oh, man. What a performance from both what of these guys. What a fight. Wow. They're going to bring it in five both of these rounds. Men. What Excellent. a war. What a war. What a great main event what for Kate Shite. What a performance from both war. of these men. What a great fight to just neither cap these, off this stacked card of no, awesome neither fights. Neither of these men have anything to bow their head about. It doesn't matter who comes out of the, you know, with the belt here. Both of these men put it all on the line. What a they fight. They did a great job, and they should be proud of, each of them should be proud of the performance they just put on. High level grappling, great, great striping exchanges, a lot of good mix. Counters, I'm talking counter throws. I, I, switches, butterfly hooks, to, to back takes, to, to one, three punches. We had a Superman punch that made me have sweat drop down my face. You know, it was every aspect of mixed martial arts was encompassed here. Both of these men should be very, very proud. And I would hate to be a judge right now because I think the fight ultimately came down to the fifth round, and the fifth round was the closest round. That's, uh, it is tough. It is tough because if it comes down to control time, it's just Nate. Nate had way yeah. more control time. He had more back takes. Do you know what I mean? Don had his, his shining moments, but in some of those shining moments, he either got quickly reversed or he did, didn't create much from it. And that's that's what I'm thinking might, might have done it. Yeah, an absolute war. Back and forth, both guys had great moments. Absolutely. Nate Williams really showing off his black belt skills. On short skills. notice as well. On short notice. Imagine this guy with eight, eight weeks, you know, six to eight weeks oh, in a camp. Gosh. You know, put For this sure. man up with some of the best featherweights we got. This guy is this guy has showed showed up. He was not here to lose, and he performed in front Who of us. Who knows, though? Sometimes stuff. taking a fight on short notice, you feel less pressure. You know what I mean? You can just kind of go in there true. and do it. That's yeah. exactly what he, he said. He said, said he had no nothing pressure. to lose. Nothing to lose here. If he loses, whatever. Yeah. You know, and that might have been, that might have eased his mind a little bit going into it. You know what I mean? That's mental state is exactly is, is just as important as your physical preparation. Yep. And uh, if he was already physically prepared, it's all about that mental. If you go in there with the, the idea that I refuse to lose, hey, man. You know what I mean? Look at the performance you just got. Yeah, and a lot less time to think about your opponent. Yep, you're gonna be absolutely, fighting. absolutely. Here we go. Oh man, that's quick, quick decision. Keep here. it going for these two warriors, ladies and gentlemen, of Plymouth Memorial Hall. After five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. With all three judges scoring this contest, 48-47, we have your winner by unanimous decision, Nasty Knight Williams!